guys, this is your boy TNT Barbecue with a Southern Explosive Taste. Hey, Dad, I got a treat for you. We're doing some bone in thick cut pork chops. Here in Iowa, we call them Iowa chops, guys. Yes, Iowa chops. And I'll be using, man, um, first of all, before I, the, the, the inspiration I got for this video is my boy Russ Jones. Go over there and check Russ Jones out. Man, Smokey Ribs, he did some uh, pork steaks, but hey, I'm going to use my mop sauce as a binder. I'm going to use my pecan TNT all-purpose rub, guys. Y'all know where to find that out, man, look, man. So let's get to cooking, guys. Let me tell you what we're working with, okay? Let's go. All right, guys, so in the pan, we got a thick-cut Iowa chop. I'm going to start off uh, I want a binder. This is going to be a simple recipe with these pork chops, okay? I'm going to use my mop sauce as a binder. Hey, guys, let me tell you something, man. Flavors out of this world, okay? And I'm finna go ahead and uh, got my TNT pecan rub, so I'm finna go ahead and get all that mop sauce all over these pork chops, guys. I'm, I'm telling you what, man. These, these pork chops are uh, amazing. And this binder I'm putting on this mop sauce is gonna uh, make this stuff pop, guys. Vinegar. Spices and herbs all over this mop sauce, man. I'm telling you what, they can be good by themselves. But I'm gonna kick it up a notch, though. So, yeah, we're gonna start off with the. Uh, we're gonna go on pretty heavy. We're gonna pat. Yes, we're gonna pat. We're gonna get the fat caps. Oh man, yeah, you got the size matter, baby. Mm-hmm. We're gonna go ahead and get that bone. With some of this, some of this TNT, uh, Grandpa Pecan Rub. Oh my goodness! Yeah, we got one done. So we're going ahead and get the rest of them seasoned up the way I like them. Oh, you got to put a lot of season on this thing, man. This is not a real salty rub. It's full of flavor. And let me tell you something, man. This pecan rub is amazing. Oh yes, it got sugar, it got butter in it actually, it has sugar, butter, it has a whole bunch of stuff in it man that, 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 that makes the meat just, oh my goodness, the mommy flavor is amazing, the sweetness on it is not too sweet, it, it, it's savory, it's all that combined. I have to get all that. Oh man. Y'all that rubbed in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want them to kind of sit there and I want them to sweat in, guys, okay? So you want the pork chops to sweat in, you want the uh the marinade to uh soak in all the goodness. And the penetration. So yeah, I'm gonna change the glove. We'll go out to the smoker. Think about pork chops. These are thick cut. You don't want to cook these pork chops to internal temperature 145 degrees. That's it. 145 degrees. Let them rest. You you will thank me, guys. Don't be overcooking your pork chops to 165. 145 degrees, guys. We cook it on. The Pit Boss Vertical Pellet Smoker, okay? Seven Series. You cook on any smoker you have. Right now, it's, 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 it's real cold outside. I want something simple, so I'm cooking on the pellet grill, okay? So let's go outside and get the pellet grill fired up. So I want to part smoke flavor, okay? One hit about pellet smoking is you want to start your pellet grill off at 200 degrees, and I want to keep a good smoke flavor, so I'm keeping it at 200 degrees until it reaches like 135 and then I'm gonna cut up to 350 uh to get the last 10 degrees okay so while the pellet grill is going the wood we're using today we're using some uh pecan wood for pork all right guys so this is what we're gonna be cooking on we're cooking on the pellet grill okay all right guys do y'all see these nice beautiful pork chops man oh my goodness look how that pecan rub has as marinated sit on that pork man oh my goodness i'm telling you what and i got a lot of smoke so 
I like to, while my pellet grill is warming up, I like to go ahead and put my meat on. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm cooking with no water in the water pan today. I'm gonna put them in the middle. It's only four pork chops. Cooking in the middle today. Get them all the room they need for the penetration of smoke. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna close it up. And guys, we're gonna uh, let this go 200 degrees until it reaches about 130. And with the last 15 minutes, we're gonna cut up 300 degrees to get uh to get them done. All right, guys. So it's now it's time to open the smoker. And hit it with this mop sauce. As you can see, the color on those uh, pork is amazing. Guys, time to mop with the mop sauce, baby. We're just trying to do this where it won't dry out as much. Don't want to dry it out for it. Yeah, this is just going to be. Oh man, the smell is amazing. these up right here just a little closer all right guys y'all see the color all right I'm going go ahead and uh what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let it cook we're gonna slice it in this beautiful Iowa chop guys Man, let me tell you what we did, man. It was pretty simple. We used the TNT mop sauce as a binder, and we uh, applied Grandpa's pecan rub. We put this on the pellet grill with some pecan pellets, and we smoked this in the internal temperature to 145 degrees. We let them rest for the next 10 minutes, and after they rest, I'm gonna slice them in. I'm gonna bring you with a close up. All right, guys, so here we go. We got the TNT mop sauce and Grandpa Pecan Rub making his debut, man. Oh my goodness, this looks amazing. I tell you what, hey, we do what we do. All right, guys, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna slice into this beautiful, man, pork chops. We're gonna slice into it. And I tell you what, the juiciness is just amazing. You can see the smoke rain. We got nice bark. And this is just like pork loin on a stick. Oh man, I tell you what. All right guys, look at that. Look at that piece right there, man. You can see the glistening. It's cooked all the way through. It's tender as a mama's love. I'm telling you what, man, we're gonna go out, we're gonna go out for a taste test, guys, okay? All right, let's go. Beautiful wife here, Mrs. T. How you doing, Miss T? Hey everybody. And you know who I am, guys. So, so uh basically, baby, I cook these uh Iowa cut pork chops. We call them Iowa chops, right, baby? Yeah. And we sell a lot of these, don't we, honey? Yeah, for like weddings and class reunions and stuff. And, and this is one of our uh and we're using the grandpa's pecan rub, honey. We, this is all TNT products we use. So uh, I want you to uh, let me know how it really tastes, honey, okay? Okay. What you, th what you think about the appearance of the pork chop and things of that nature? Uh, it looks like it's perfectly cooked. Like, I can see like a smoke ring around the edges. Okay, okay. And it's got that pretty, like, orange reddish color that I like. Okay, well, let's go, salute. Hmm. I use the pit boss to smoke it. We use pecan wood with pecan, pecan, pecan 
roll, grandpa's pecan roll. Mm -hmm. Use a mop sauce. Is it too vinegary? Mm -mm. No. That was amazing, ain't huh? Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Go and get you some grandpa's pecan roll. Mm -hmm. Go get you some thick cut pork chops. What do you call them? Iowa chops or whatever you want to call them. Mm -hmm. And get to smoking. You can find this at www.bbqtnt.com. Hey, the iCar to be up there, man. Go check us out, man. I'm telling you what. Man, I'm telling you, man. And, uh, yeah, this is going to be a great dinner. All right, like we always say, God, God bless, bless you and God bless America. America. We, we out of here. here. Peace.